in the last few years, myself and especially one of my graduate students, Dom, Dom Tulo, we've been uh, working really hard at implementing uh, uh, NeuroTracker in uh, two schools in particular. One school is a public school in Quebec City and another uh, private school for kids with difficulties in Montreal. So w w right now we're working with kids uh, across a spectrum of, of, of conditions, so autism, ADHD, uh, kids with language difficulties, and we're, and we're seeing improvements across the board. Uh, one thing that we're happy about, again, at the beginning was that the NeuroTracker training is accessible and potentially adaptable. So this is something else that's very important in our domain, where you have kids with diff diff uh, different uh, levels of functioning. You could adapt the NeuroTracker baseline to their level of uh, understanding and learning and then build and push, if you will, or train the uh, attentional brain to improve as a function of time. So actually these, these kids would, who have difficulties, intellectual difficulties, were able to learn, so their performance uh, increased as a function of time on your tracker. And this increase in performance on your tracker transferred to uh, both um, uh, other attentional tasks and also mathematics. Uh, this is, uh, if you will, bang for buck, if you will. It's incredibly, uh, it's been inc incredibly uh, uh, uplifting to see that just, you know, seven minutes a session, 20 minutes a week, and, and we're getting some really, really positive results. By assessing attention, we're also able to kind of look at examining the efficacy and training attention. And what's great is, um, Stumbled on NeuroTracker as a great task of really tapping into uh, the direct mechanisms of attention that we see in the, the everyday classroom in everyday life. And we're able to look at that and see like how repeated practice or repeated exposure to a task which really taps into these mechanisms, how it, how it can improve and train attention and learning as well. What's great about uh, NeuroTracker is it's, it's very intuitive and uh, it's, it's something that the kids pick up right away. So in some instances I have kids that uh, I don't even can get through the instructions. They're just ready and uh, eager to go. The kids, once you know, they see that it's very interactive, and they're able to get uh, critical feedback instantly on uh, so kind kind of reassessing what they did right, what they did wrong, and that's uh, something that's great in, in learning as well. Is you want to keep the student in that kind of zone, in a zone of uh, proximal development, and we get a lot of students that say like, I actually feel my attention at work when I'm uh, doing this, they can actually feel it, like turn around to me and say, my brain's working right now. You know, so that's, that's something that's very cool and we love to see that on an everyday basis. Um, yeah, and students, again, at the end of the task, when they see that number, when they see that threshold, and believe it or not, they actually remember their score from the day before or from uh, the weeks past and they're like, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm improving, I'm improving. There's a lot of high fives and a couple hugs and, and then they go back to class with a confidence boost. So it's nice to see really that um, coming back on the parents who are not there, who are not able to see on an everyday basis what their, what their child has been going through, that they notice uh, the effects at home, they notice the effects uh, outside of the classroom and in the home setting. And it's amazing how uh, some teachers say like, oh, uh, I want, like you must have had uh, X student because this month he's been fantastic or there's so many cases of that. So we're really glad to see that really in the classroom as well, the teachers are really seeing some differences of how like they're more focused, more uh, calmer, more receptive to learning, constantly giving us feedback. Like, I can't believe he's sitting in the class so quietly. I can't believe he's, he's, uh, he's changed his behavior or I've never seen him be able to sit that still for so long. So it's nice to get like those individual case by case uh, feedback which, uh, yeah, it's, it again shows um, what, how powerful NeuroTracker is what it, and what it can really do.